The Minnesota Lynx opened training camp this afternoon, the beginning of their defense of their WNBA title. David McCoy sat down for a one on one interview with head coach Cheryl Reeve to talk about her pursuit of a league record fifth championship, her new job as a co host of a podcast, and the possibility of her coaching in the NBA. Every year around this time, I ask you the same question. I put on my I'm a jerk hat and I ask you about your aging core and your <laughs> supposedly closing window, and your answer's always yeah. been the same. Yeah. Is it the same again? It is, in that <laughs> so as long as we're able to, uh, you know, we can't escape the age thing, you know, in that, you know, we're all uh, older, but, you know, we, we like to see the, the great things that aging brings to us, which is, you know, the like a fine wine, you know, it tastes a little better. Um, I think we're wiser. You know, there's there's a whole lot that we've seen along our journeys together. Give give me a veteran team that's talented every day of the week. Uh, they'll school you know young players without the the experience um, most times. The number one thing we've been able to do to kind of keep that window propped open is who we're putting behind this group. And we really really like our even though it's a new group, we like our second group a lot. What's Carly Wagner got to do to make your team? She's got a tough job. Uh, she has to go rewrite some of those contracts that, that are guaranteed. <laughs> With Carly's mission, and I told her this, your job isn't to come out here and try to make the team. Your job is to you know, bite off pieces every day and focus on what we're teaching you and excel in those smaller moments. Uh, certainly can shoot the basketball. Um, I'll just say that it's, it's going to be a tough road to climb. You know, this league is tough to break into. What you've done here, it, it, it's historic. You've put together one of the all-time great dynasties, no matter how long the WNBA is a sport. I'm curious, when, when your legacy is already so well established, what continues to drive you? This group is so competitive. And I think at the core of who a, an athlete is or who a player is, if they're not competitive, if they don't care if they win a shooting drill or a shell drill or whatever it is, you're probably not going to experience the level of success that this group has. What drives them, you know, is, is the idea that I know last year they wanted to, to make sure that we were able to have the same number of championships as the Houston Comets did. And who wants to finish in a tie? Houston's got four, we got four. Who wants to finish in a tie? Lindsey Whalen taking over the Gophers program. Obviously, I'm sure you're very excited. And happy. I am. I'm curious if you're at all worried about her focus being divided, because it's one thing to play off-season basketball yep. overseas. It's another thing to run a Big Ten program mm -hmm. year-round while you're still playing. Yeah, I'm excited, and, you know, it's, it's all in how you look at things, and, and I know Lindsay really, really well. I actually think this opportunity for her to be, the, you know, a coach of a big-time program and to be a point guard of a big-time franchise, Lindsay's not going to have time to think about that she's tired or hungry is a great thing. You just got to go. And I think it's stretching limits. And I love that. I love, you know, this idea where she's going, can I do it? Should I do it? Can I? Yeah, like that uncomfortable place of, okay, I'm doing this. Lindsay's not going to let herself fail. It's not going to happen. So she's going to do whatever's necessary. That's as a point guard and that's as the head coach of a big time program. And, and I think that now I see a greater focus on what we're doing. So. I think it's going to end up being a benefit. Increase uh, your focus. Yeah, and, and yeah absolutely, it's absolutely going to increase your focus because if you're not focused, then it's going to slip here and it might slip here. So Lindsay only knows one way, which is why she's the all-time winningest player in the history of our league. Interesting topic was bandied about the last few weeks, uh, the idea of you coaching men. <laughs> Would that ever appeal to you? You know, I think that... Um, I said five years ago, I would have said no, you know, that the women's game is where I need to be to grow the game. Um, I think if I stay in the women's game and grow the women's game, that's a, that's a good thing. But I also now understand that having opportunities, whether it's men or women, is actually growing, growing the game for the women. So creating more opportunities. Um, why no women are coaching in any men's sport, I don't know. Women are leaders in every other military, business, whatever it is, politics. Why not professional sports? Um, and so, yeah, I, I would be foolish if, uh, you know, somebody were interested in, in uh, having me lead their team and it would happen to be a men's team. The game is the game, you know, basketball is basketball. You're going to be a talk show host? Right? Oh, yeah, 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 the podcast, yeah. Why yeah. did that appeal to you? 
Um, you know, it wasn't something I thought of. It was something that somebody said, hey, let's do this. I said, okay, it's what I do anyway. I just talk. Um, I, th I think what's appealing to me is to continue uh, for people to hear our voice, um, whether it's uh, the Lynx voice, WMBA voice, or women in leadership voice. And we're going to talk about uh, a lot of topics, not just women's basketball. We're going to talk about current events. We're going to talk about other sports. And, and it was something that really appealed to me because, again, that's, that, those are all my interests. Cheryl Reese podcast with Star Tribune columnist Jim Suhan is available online. The Lynx opened the season on May 20th.